mpenzi mtazamaji kama ndio kwanza nafungua channel yako ya TV TV tafadhali subscribe ili uwe mwanzo kupata video zetu mbali mbali za ndani na nje ya nchi share video hii bila kusahau kudondosha comment yako kwani ni muhimu sana I think we've done a lot when it comes to infrastructure development and we've done quite well when it comes to the equipment supply what we do not have is the staff the medical staff particularly the specialists and super specialists and we don't have the proper management and that's why we are looking to uh, uh, cooperate with the private sector to 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 take their uh, experience when it comes to management our people are not trained in management what we need is a proper team to manage them but again we want to bring in the specialists from abroad to come and do the surgeries here rather than us sending people abroad which is quite expensive so um i want to put a request to you that uh what we need and i would say this uh, i want to be specific we have four areas whereby most of our uh, patients are sent abroad one is cardiac surgeries and uh, this uh, takes a lot of money because as you know in africa the valve uh, issues are, are, are rampant so we are sending a lot of patients to india for valve replacement but number 2 is oncology we are having a lot of cancer patients where we are sending all over the place some are going to south africa to kenya to india to to uh, turkey for cancer treatment all areas of can both surgical treatment of cancer radiotherapy chemotherapy and now there's new uh, ways of doing it but most of our patients nobody can be treated locally for cancer and then we have neurosurgery patients you know the, the brain and the uh, spinal cord surgeries uh, some are done here but the very you know simple ones any complicated neurosurgical case will go abroad so if we have these three areas of specialization plus of course orthopedics yes the the, the joint replacements are also most of them done either in dar es salaam or in india now here is a center state of the art but we cannot use it because we don't have the medical personnel and we don't have the right management and this is what we need so we are happy to collaborate with the private sector to be able to perform this surgeries here and the government uh, one 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 thing is that um rather than sending a patient to india with the cost of transport and a relative going with them doing it here will be half of the price Yeah so we would very much want to be able to build that capacity locally so that we can do the surgeries here. Sure. Yeah. Sure. All these hospitals you have seen mm. they have diagnostic equipment mm. all of them. Yes. Yeah. So actually we do not need a diagnostic <coughs> center what we need is a uh, management and doctors to operate what we already have. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and of course uh, medical tourism will fall in place because uh, as you correctly said not only for the tourists even for ourselves what, to, what now if you fall sick you have to travel and this is very unfortunate we need to change this yeah um finally um i would say that uh, the environment in zanzibar to have a good medical university will work very well here. Basically we came yesterday we had a good insight about what's happening in the health and I'm very 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 impressed. This is not you know because I'm here or in front of you. I'm very impressed about what's happening and the enthusiasm and it tells me it's coming from a doctor. <laughs> Honestly. Uh because the investment that I'm seeing it's it's extraordinary and I just hope and pray that inshallah Allah will protect you know inshallah all Amen. of you Amen. to finish what you are doing um actually um we have been we have been to the healthcare centers we have been to the district hospitals and actually it's it's amazing 
okay it's amazing and actually let me congratulate you and the team about the spirit that people they have on the ground about the development they really want to develop mm -hmm. and to be honest i haven't seen it in in, in many Af i haven't seen it in african countries people are you know and in africa here everyone wants to do something which is amazing it gives me the positive energy uh, and i need i really want to help so basically, we had a tour, we had a look, and I believe that, you know, there is, there is a, a room where we can benefit, benefit the country and join this uh, success story. In Zanzibar, it's a new experience with the ocean, with the nice, kind people. I came and I was received very warmly by people and I was really touched. Uh, I feel, I feel, and I have learned about the development that Zanzibar is um, passing through. And I decided I would like to be part of this success story. And I'm very sure that in few years there will be a success story in this island. And I really want to be part of this success story. Tiff TV na kupatia video mbali mbali kutoka ndani na nje nchi. Tafadhali endelea kutufuatilia kupitia channel yetu ya Tiff TV, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter na Instagram. Bila kusahau kudondosha komenti yako kwani ni muhimu sana. Tiff TV tupo kijamii zaidi.